Hello and welcome, and we are really proud to present our Avante web design as a WordPress theme. Now, some of the great features of this Avante design we have never released before. They're brand new, and uh, we believe you'll love them just as much as we do. The first highlight is the full screen sliders you see here, and uh, you can put some really beautiful images in the background and uh, stylize it with um, just slight covers. If you notice here, we're using horizontal lines on the next slide. Um, we, I believe we use some uh, dark dots and then I mean you can change them up. You can have all slides use the same cover or not. It's up to you. And of course you notice that there's uh, animation uh, transitions here as well and those are presets so that uh, gives you a really slick look and feel. We've also got uh, new animations for the buttons up at the top menu. And just uh, as in our previous WordPress theme, the Myriad design, we have the hover icon info boxes here. Something new to this design, uh, and you'll see this in coming WordPress themes as well, is that we have now dividers, and you can, uh, in between your content regions, your sidebar, or I guess you call them, um, widget regions, you can have dividers. And in this one we just have uh, one possible divider or turned off, but you can uh, put them in between the different regions here. And just like the uh, the mirrored design that came before, you can also now stylize um, the content regions, the backgrounds, the different background colors, and um, we've also included the animation, animated uh, picture info box here, and we've changed up the footer box just a little bit. Now one thing that's not obvious here is we've also included now the ability to stylize the default um, inner content box background as well as the background of the outer, con or outer box, I guess you'd call it, as well as the edges. I'm just going to pause this video and I'm just going to show you what that looks like. All right, here we are. We're back. Now you notice that the background image here has now changed as well as the the, the edges. And you're going to also notice that the the background of the, um, call this the inner box, and this is the outer box, is also transparent. And so um, there's a number of new styles available to you. And you can use them if you wish, or just go with the defaults. And as we release uh, more WordPress themes, you're going to find that uh, there's some more additional styles available to you there as well. To go and change these items is really um, pretty easy. You just go to your framework, and under the Quick Start tab of the General tab, we're going to have under here the layout where you can set your default edge style. Um, we've included a few. This shadow is the default, the default inner box style. Um, usually we just go with solid color in the default outer box style and again that's just none and just using the background image and then all you do is of course you just hit save and you just go back and you reload and this changes the, st the look and feel of your website quite dramatically and quite quickly. In the event that you want to have a different style um, on page to page to page we also give you that ability by changing those settings within the page configuration. So if you were to go to pages, all pages, the home page, once this page loads up, you'll see that down at the bottom here, we've included page styling. You can use the site default or you can specifically set it on a page by page basis. And of course, I had mentioned the dividers earlier. Uh, under the Layout Manager, we renamed this tab the Layout Manager. You're going to see that we have now dividers here where you can select none or diagonal lines as it is available in this particular theme, and that's now something new to the framework as well. I also mentioned that uh, there is this new slider called the Full Screen Slider. We'll take a look at the example Full Screen Slider. We have a number of uh, new fields, the slide cover, as you can see here as well as the citation line, and that just is an, a secondary um, piece of text. If you were to go here, you're going to see that right down here. This is a citation right here. 
Now you can have a button there if you wish. Um, we have chosen in this demo not to turn any on, but you, you could of course say click here and then we'll reload and we'll find that on the first button we have a click here button. Of course, one other feature that we've we've included in this as well is the SoundCloud MP3 player. We also included that in the previous WordPress theme. And we can turn that on if we wish, just by going to the general region of the theme framework settings, SoundCloud MP3 player, and we can choose to enable globally and then hit save. that's saved and we can just hit refresh and we'll find that the SoundCloud mp3 player will just rise from the bottom of the page there we go of course it's not set to autoplay at this point you could choose to do that if you wish or users can just click on the button all right uh, I hope you enjoy this uh, short tour here uh, we're really quite excited it's a really beautiful looking design um, very professional um, and of course you've got this really large full screen slider up at the top of the page that uh, really um, has a great impact uh, for your visitors.